Well, I saw this item on Adrian's Digital Basement, oh, in the last week, and I looked at it and went, that's kind of cool, I don't have one of those. I probably should have, and so I went ahead and ordered one. Let's open this up and take a look. And part of the idea here is we'll actually do a teardown, see what I got for my few dollars. Uh, of course, this assumes I can get the box open. So a little bit of packaging. Set that aside. Now the box is kind of messed up. So anyhow, it's pretty obvious what it is. It's the T22 5 core sound of India transistor radio. Supposedly this has a fully analog tuner, no digital tuner. None of the modern stuff, uh, the design's fairly old, uh, but it caught my attention. It's got shortwave on it. I don't know how well it'll work, but I thought I don't have a battery power radio here. Uh, we do have power outages and other things happen here where a radio could be really nice, and I thought I'm going to add this in for the you know, $24, $25 including shipping. It wasn't horribly expensive. Uh, so, so far this is packaged identical to what uh, Adrian had on his, the box. The single layer of bubble wrap. Some more tape there is. Uh, it was a U.S. seller down in California. Uh, it was free four-day shipping. It's maybe been four days. I don't remember it was supposed to get here yesterday or tomorrow. I mean today or tomorrow. Uh, it may have been the full four days. Yeah, I. it feels like a cheap plastic radio. Uh, interesting that the tuner was all or the, the power was on and all the way up probably from testing. Let's go ahead and get some batteries in it. Hopefully it takes C cells. Does it take D cells? It takes two D cells. Well, I have D cells here as well. Let me grab those. I was thinking it requires C cells. Hopefully these still have some charge on them. Yeah, lots of <laughs> lots of spurs and casting issues here. There it went. Let's see FM and standard wave. Well, let's go to FM. I'll try not to hit music here. I, although if I get demonetized, I don't care. I don't actually monetize. Sounds like a desk radio. Uh, get it up on. Was I on FM there? I was on FM. Okay. That's why. It, it, yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Which means this antenna really isn't going to help. He's actually probably working right now, saving lives. To all the nurses and healthcare professionals, big high five for all of y'all. Tens of thousands of patients, and they're ready to help you. Call me five minutes. Hmm, okay, it's not bad. I'm, I'm guessing all that noise is my 
LED lights here in the lab. I'm going to turn them off and we'll see what happens. Nope. Not the LED lights. I may have switched down to shortwave. I did. Let me go back to medium wave, which is AM. Yeah, it's AM, so. You know, thousands of dollars for that kind of treatment. Well, and plus they've got yeah, the best I, equipment available there. Oh, you got all the sure. equipment. You got a field. You want to do sprints, running. You got a football yeah. field there. It's um, to be able to say, oh, that's that person. Then they could go and interview them. It makes for that tool to be much easier. So they didn't have very good answers to that. At one point they said yes, we that would still be able to be done, and another point they said he is faithful and right. Real estate is a market where these trends are. In their cheeks. Call 1 800 Got Junk. Well, before you hang up the phone. When that shiny truck from 1 800 Got Junk arrives at your house, I'm, I'm impressed overall for, for $24 or $25, including shipping. It's a little radio and it does seem to work. Uh, I won't be able to play with the short wave till tonight. And I, I've read in a few forum posts that people aren't having great luck with the short wave. Uh, then again, one never knows. Uh, well, as promised, let's take a peek at seeing what's inside. Well, I immediately don't know what that is, but I'd rather it look like a piece of string. Hopefully it wasn't being crammed in there to hold the knob on. Ah, plenty of plenty of tension on the knob itself. No surprises there. There's what looks to be a little plastic protector on there. Oh yeah. You can peel that off. That's nice. Oh, that's nice and shiny now. That looks really pretty. And it looks like there's plastic as well, protecting this surface. Let's see if I can get it to peel up. Maybe. And there it is again. Yeah. Wow, the you can see where the sprues and stuff have been cut away. Definitely uh, casting they didn't clean it up nearly as much as they could have as part of the casting and I think Adrian made a comment that it looked like the molds were really old and I tend to have that same impression uh, God knows how long they've been producing this radio so looks like potentially four screws Find the screwdriver I want. I don't like that one in there. It's a little small. It's funny how this one screwdriver just seems to be the universal for nearly everything I do. Yeah, these are definitely turning into plastic. That's no surprise, of course. And they are different lengths. So that's interesting. So longer was to the right. Hmm. That looks like the same length as to the bottom right. I suspect this third one will be the same length and that short one will be the odd one out. Yep. And this one was down in, in this corner down here for whatever reason. So, well, that definitely popped the front loose. I'm going to void the warranty. And let's take a peek at what we've got inside. Wow, it's exactly what I would have expected to see. I could be looking at a radio from when I was a teenager. I really could. It's exactly what I expected to see. Uh, 
I'm going to say I, I, everything I've read says it's not a digital tuner. I'm looking for a part number on that part. And I'm not spotting one on that IC. Trying to get over where there's better light and not having a lot of luck. Love to spot a date code on there. Hmm. I don't know if there's a little alcohol might knock whatever's on there off. I don't know. I'd love to find a date code on that chip just to get an idea whether they're running off of really old stock. Has it been painted over? It's interesting having all that black come off. Ah, there it is. So it's a Sony CXA1619BS. Sony CXA1619BS, and the second number on it is 627TE9V. I don't see a date code. 627TE9V. But believe, but based on everything I've read, it is a true analog receiver. It's not you know using a digital tuner. It's an analog tuner. Uh, pretty much all the semiconductors integrated except for one here in that package. Uh, yeah, there's nothing here that says to me this wasn't built in the 80s. Everything looking at it has that look and feel. Uh, I'm not going to pull the board off because the whole tuning mechanism there's the, the tuning capacitor here and the string is wrapped around, I'm sure, that capacitor. And it is, there's a big wheel on the cap. And over to the tuning knob, and I'm not going to muck with that. But you know, that, that little phenolic PCB, this is all really familiar stuff. There's a jumper wire there. So it's funny that, now that cap's actually not even on the board. Has that cap been removed? That's interesting. Is there a jumper wire? Oh, there's a jumper. So I noticed there's a jumper wire down here to replace a, a cap. There's a jumper wire here. Uh, or C22 or C23 would be there's a jumper wire. So they've either simplified the design or whatever over the years. Uh, but you know, this is exactly what you'd expect to see. Uh, it's actually a okay looking little speaker for what it is uh, probably made by five core it looked like on their website they make speakers you know made in India shipped to the US sold to me including shipping for call it $25 uh, would have to then think you know whoever imported it probably paid six dollars for it it'd be my guess uh, maybe as high as 12, but I'd guess no more than six, which means it was probably manufactured for two dollars, if even that. Uh, total guesswork. It was just a bit of casting left over. There's lots of these in here from from the, the casting equipment. Um, I could spend a bit of time with a file and clean this up a bit. But you know exactly what I expected. Ferrite there with the uh, winding on it kind of mounted in place. It, it's interesting that it's drawn on the board with the, the windings over on this side, but again, don't care. There's, of course, some hand well inductors and L5 there. It's probably the final one they tweaked to get it tuned accurately. The little potentiometer switch assembly looks completely again I wouldn't be surprised to find that in the 1980s 
transistor radio. So nothing surprising here at all, construction-wise or white lead is of course the aerial. I'm not sure why it's got a couple lines of the ground around it. Uh, there's probably a reason for that. Well, let's put the case back on. What's making noise? Now? Oh, maybe that piece of plastic that I... There it is. Hopefully it'll be quiet now. Yeah, that little piece of plastic that I broke off the, from the casting is what was rolling around in there. Turned it backwards until I felt it drop into the original threads and then turned into the original threads. You can hear the nice the little pop here. It's nice and loud on this as the screw falls into the original threads. And the shorter screw back where the shorter screw was. So you'll see on this one there was a little piece of string put down into the hole on the knob to make it fit tighter. So that is what that little bit of string was about. Did I keep that little bit of string? So we will put this to get back together the way it originally was. So it's going to be the same thing on this one is we're just using that little bit of string as a bit of filler to make the knob fit a little tighter. all kinds of uh, plastic here left over from the casting. I think this is a little bit of what made it hard to get back together for me, or get the cover back on originally, was all that extra casting there. Yeah, there's a bunch of it that just should, doesn't need to be there. Wasn't originally intended to be there. Should make it easier now to lay down and just click in. Yeah, the molding marks are amazing from age. Uh, originally could be powered from AC220 or 4.5 volt external power, yet it's marked DC3 volts here now. So I, there's probably, you know, the case probably fits multiple. Uh, Designs. In 2021, so I, I think it's possible, yeah, that the Cardinals may have a better team than the Seahawks. Well, does that take me back to uh, working out in the garage as a kid on a car with a you know a transistor radio sitting there for, keep you entertained? Uh, just the whole sound of it. That's why we said with Prisco, is it possible the Hawks could be 9-8 and eight and make the postseason? Well, glad we got to explore this together. Hope you found this somewhat entertaining, and I'll talk at you later.